Hey, what's up guys, it's Roy here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing this one of one phone case that you see here in front of you for my Samsung Galaxy S22. It is $52 and it's from the company Carved. So if you wanna pick this case up or something similar, which I'll explain in a sec, then just go to carved.com. They make phone cases for pretty much every iPhone and Samsung Galaxy device. They also make jewelry, bracelets, pins, knives, you name it, chargers. So definitely go and check out their website. Now with this case, like I said, it's $52, but what's unique about this case, guys, is that it's made with real wood burls and colored resin to get this beautiful case. Now they are made here in the United States. They're actually made in Elkhart, Indiana. So it's pretty cool that you're gonna be able to support a company here in the United States as well. So let's go ahead and take a real quick peek at the actual case. So as far as this particular case goes, if you know me, I love black and white, just that stormtrooper kind of look. And this one stood out to me a lot when I was on the website. So this, like I said, is a one of one, which it does say that inside the actual case. So like I said, the case that you see on the actual website is the case that you're actually getting. And once you buy it, it's gone. Now they make some that are similar looking, but it's not gonna be the exact one because like I said, it is a one of a kind. So as far as the actual case goes, it's a very well-made case. On the inside, we do have this really nice like suede material that your phone is going up against. It does say one of one inside and some carved um, branding inside there. Now on the inside of the actual case, we do have reinforced corners with that drop protection and just this really nice padded uh, kind of material inside that is going up against your corners and bumpers of the phone. So you're getting some really good drop protection with this particular case. So let me grab my Phantom Black S22. Let's go ahead and just slap it in. And that's all she wrote. Very easy install as you can see here. And just once again, the beauty of this case looks so cool. I actually did a video of the iPhone 13 Pro case that I got from them, which you can follow the card up above on. And that one was like a blue and like really beautiful, like brown and orange tintish color. And this is kind of more of my style, but I do like that brightness of the iPhone 13 Pro one I got. But looking at the actual camera bump design here, um, this one's the first case that I have seen where it's more of a curved pattern instead of kind of more, you know, squared and straight lines. So I actually like this. Normally I'm a bigger fan if it hugs the actual camera bump, but I don't mind kind of this swoop design here. It actually looks pretty good. Now the lenses are definitely recessed in. So as you can see there, we do get some lips that are covering the lenses. So if you do place it back down or drop it, your lenses should be protected pretty nicely. And one thing I wanna point out is with the fan on black, I think it just looks really good up against the different contrasting colors of the back of the case. Now looking at the case and getting a little bit closer look at it, you just really see these beautiful whites and blacks and deep blacks and the wood. It has a little bit of some different textures uh, when you are touching it because like I said, it is a wood case. So it's not just this complete flat, smooth back. So even though it does have obviously you know, some sort of coating on it and everything just feels really good, but it is anti-fingerprint, anti-smudging. I don't have to wipe it down like I usually do with a lot of my other cases. So the back is on point, looks fantastic. Now looking at it from the sides here, we have a matte, kind of just black TPU side here. Does say carved here at the bottom. So we got some very minimal branding. A really nice grippy side here where your fingers kind of naturally fall. And then we do have some kind of higher gloss black power button and volume up and down buttons that are raised. And then moving to the bottom here, we do have a really nice uh, kind of oval cutouts here for the USB-C port and mic and then our speakers. And then going to this side here, we have just that grippier pattern, just kind of more in the center. And then obviously no other buttons or anything like that. And then at the top, a circular cutout for our microphone. And that's just kind of the top down look there. So pretty nice looking. And then looking at the front of the case, as you can see guys, we do have some lips that are going to be protecting that screen 
So definitely getting some screen protection with this particular case. And it is tempered glass friendly. And then that's just kind of the look of it from the kind of front shot there. So very minimal looking, nothing crazy. So now let's go ahead and do some of the tests that I like to do. So let's start with that wobble test. So we'll do face down first. And we have no shaking going on at all. And let's do back down. And no shaking going on at all either. So it is a very flat case on the front and back, which I absolutely love. So if you are someone that doesn't like cases that shake, this one is for you. Now let's go ahead and do the clicky button test. So let's start with the power button. Then we'll do the volume up and down. So let's do power button first. And volume up and down. Okay, so like the iPhone 13 Pro case, these are some of the clickiest buttons that I've tested on any phone case. It's literally up there, top three, maybe even one, as far as the best responsive clicky buttons. Like literally they all have the same tactile clickiness. They are all super easy to push. You barely have to push it and they respond very nicely. So I just wanna point that out because obviously clicky buttons are important to me because I do that test. So I just wanna make sure that you understand how easy these buttons are to push. So now let's go ahead and do a Qi wireless charging test. Normally I would use like my Spigen charger or something, but they did send me this amazing, technically a MagSafe charger for an iPhone, but it does act as a Qi wireless charger as well. It actually comes with a 20 watt charging brick and uh, obviously the cable's attached. So I'm actually gonna be doing a separate video of this charger, so keep your eyes open for that. But for the actual Qi wireless charging test, let's go ahead and just slap it on here. And as you can see, it instantly recognizes that it is on a charger and it is fast wirelessly charging my S22. So that is just something to point out that if you wanna use a beautiful charger that almost kind of matches your phone case, they do have them available definitely uh, check out the website and you'll find them pretty easily as well. So all in all guys, this case is just like the iPhone 13 Pro case, something that has really truly impressed me. Uh, I'm not getting paid for this video. I, you know, I'm the one that actually reached out to Carve because I kept on seeing them on Facebook. And so I actually reached out to Carve on Facebook Messenger and I'm not joking, within like 20 minutes they had responded and were ready to kind of hear me out. So that right there just tells me what kind of company they are because they have such a great customer service and just a great crew working for them that has just been Johnny on the spot with responding to me on everything. So once again, definitely big thank you and shout out to Carve for sending this out to me. Thoroughly impressed with this beautiful product here. So guys, if you are interested, like I said, go to their website, pick it up. But uh, all in all, I've been using this case for about four, maybe five days. I actually got this one first and I've really enjoyed it. I've actually had at least four or five people ask me where I got it. So definitely a conversation piece. So hit that like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe and ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe, God bless, and as always, see you on the next one.